Right, at last that's the flywheel off, that was extremely tight. And it come off okay. Just put a spanner across the magnets there as a keeper. Right, that's the back plate of the uh, magneto with its uh, coil and points box. HT lead isn't actually connected to the coil. So I get there. So something else is looked at, but that's nothing serious. Yeah, the points are in this box here. Let me open it up. So there's your points, and the condenser will be behind. So I'm just in the process of undoing these two screws either side of the crank to get this armature plate off, and I'll start stripping the rest of the engine. Right, that's the bank plate off the magneto. Extremely dirty. Now, uh, yeah, I think for uh, give an external clean, and I'll get the barrel off. I think I've picked out a lettering on the. Uh, front piece of the cowling. Uh, I think it's okay, it just needs a bit of tidying up those little areas where the paint has gone where it should have done. But yeah, quite pleased with that. See also I've actually removed the uh, mesh guard. Uh, that's because I'm going to start this on the electric drill. So that's why it's been removed. Just cut that out with some snips and then Made sure it's all smooth in there, uh, our sharp edges. So, yeah, so that's that. Right, well, got the barrel off. Doesn't look too bad in there. As a piston. Um, wings feel okay, they're free. Um, there's no big end or little end wear. Got quite a lot of end float on this crank. I might be able to sort something out of that with some different gaskets on the crankcase halves, but there's no up and down. I just noticed, which I probably should have noticed earlier on, I have actually got um, a number on here. It looks like BXP, uh, I think that's 1465. BXP, I'll have to check that in my book and see what model this is then. It probably isn't a 11C. So uh, we'll get on and do a bit more. Right, these are the supports that hold the engine. I'll just give them a bit of a clean up. I think I said earlier on that I was I might be painting these, but I've uh, changed my mind. I keep these original. I think it'd be nice to do that. Plus, I'm not going to paint the cowling now, so I think that'd be okay. There's no concern over a colour match or anything like that. So yeah, quite pleased with them. Not perfect, but they're fine. Right, just got to get these two bolts out here and then split the crankcases. So that's coming on. It's interesting to know the uh, gudgeon pin for the piston is held in by split pins, it's on each side. I'm not too sure, I need to check, but I've got a feeling these gudgeon pins only come out and go in one way, so I just need to check that. Dive in there. Right, that's the crankcase half split. Doesn't look too bad. These two pieces here, let's turn it around. These two pieces here, there's one on each side. They're very tight in the holes here in the casting. Um, so, what I did was put two nuts together made them secure against each other and then wound this out enough they have one come out completely it's not threaded inside there but it's very tight first I actually thought it was threaded but it's not so, that's, so I need to get this uh, piece off here that nut is loose now remove the piston um, look apart completely give it a good clean up Right, 
Right, just started work on stripping the magneto back plate and coil there. This is the uh, points box. Condenser in the back there. Yeah, that's in corn, copy tight. So I'll make a start and clean this lot up now then.